Now for our story. A man sat waiting on the front porch of Bungalow B. As he pulled on a cigar, the glowing ember revealed for a moment the heavy, scowling countenance of Ben Calvert. It was nine o'clock. Ben had been waiting for his son-in-law, Sergeant Bill Mead, for nearly half an hour. But that wasn't why he was angry. If anything, he was glad to have this time to himself. For Ben shrewdly realized that anger wouldn't get him any place with Bill. It wouldn't get him the information he wanted. No, he'd have to use a different tactic. And Mr. Calvert thought he knew just which one would be the most effective. And a few miles away, at a prearranged spot a little past Aunt Mary's farm, Sergeant Bill Meade was talking to Peggy Douglas. After a long silence, the two young people told each other goodbye. Refusing his offer of a ride, Peggy started back towards the farm. And, getting into his wife's car, Bill drove on to Wakefield. Bill reassured himself that he hadn't been wrong to tell Peggy what he had. Everything was going to work out now. Everything was going to be all right. Driving into the Wakefield auto court, Bill pulled into the shed that was built onto Bungalow B. Then walked towards the front of the house. Hello, Bill. Oh, Mr. Calvin. I've been waiting for you. Why? What's the matter? I just wanted to have a little talk with you. Got some time, or are you going someplace? No, I'm not going anyplace. Come on in. Thanks. <coughs> Sit down, Mr. Calvin. Thank you. You sound like you have a cold. Oh, it's nothing, nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, how about some coffee? Not for me. Okay. Uh, won't you sit down? Oh, yes, yes. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> the last time we talked, you and I, we got into a little argument. But that was really caused by my concern for Kit. After all, I'm her father. I want to see her happy. And you don't think she is, is that it? I don't know what to think. Bill, what goes on? I beg your pardon? Today I sent Miss Ward by here to locate Kit for me, and she came back with a letter. Is Kit angry with me? Why, no, Mr. Calvin. And then why on earth did she have you drive her over to Stanton to take the train? Why didn't she even tell me goodbye? Well, as I believe she told you in that note, she knew you didn't approve of her taking this trip. Mm -hmm. Seems very odd to me that uh, you'd be willing for Kit to leave you and for, for such an indefinite period. She wanted to go to California. And you wanted her to go? It seemed best under the circumstances. I see. And just what were the circumstances? I'm sorry, Mr. Calvert, but I can't discuss it. Now, this is Kit's affair and mine, and I don't see what Well, it's become it mine, too. It's become mine when Lefty Larkin walked into my office this morning and told me to keep you away from Peggy Douglas. What did you say? You heard me. If you have no feeling for protecting your wife, I have. I'm not going to have Kit hurt. She isn't going to be hurt, Mr. Calvert. Well, what do you call it? With you running around with your former girlfriend. I'm not running around. You mean Larkin wasn't telling me the truth? You haven't been seeing Peggy? Not in the way you mean. Look, Bill. I don't care about your delicate shavings. Have you or haven't you been seeing her? I don't feel I have to answer that. Well, if you're going to let me draw my own conclusions, I can come to plenty. If I have to work in the dark, I'll do it. But it would be a lot simpler and better for you and everybody concerned if you'd be honest with me. I can't discuss it with you. Why not? Does Kip know anything about you and Mary Lane's niece? You're assuming that there's something to know. Yes, I am. And I haven't noticed you flatly contradicting me. It doesn't need any contradicting. And I don't care about discussing my personal affairs with you, Mr. Calvert. 
You may not like it, but you'd better. Don't be stupid, Bill. What you don't realize is that I can be tolerant and helpful if I'm let in on the ground floor. No, I didn't know that. But if things are kept from me, as in this instance, well, that's a different story. I'm beginning to think I had the wrong idea of your character, Bill. When you and Kit were first married, the way you insisted that she live here instead of at my house, where she'd be more comfortable, the way you wouldn't let her use any of her own money, I thought that was because you were a proud, idealistic sort of chap. I had you pegged as a pretty conventional fellow. But now, suddenly, out of the blue, Kit goes on this extended vacation and... You start hanging around the lane farm. Yeah. I think I'll have to reverse my conception. Because maybe you have Kit more thoroughly under your influence than I thought. Perhaps you're behind this trip of hers. Maybe you wanted her to go to California. That isn't true. We both decided it was the thing to do. Oh, oh. The way you said that, uh, it sounds as if it was quite an important decision. Is this marriage going on the rocks? You know, Bill, silence usually means affirmation. Yeah, I know. But that isn't necessarily true in this case. Now, look, Mr. Calvert, you're wasting your time. I've told you before, I, I know, don't... I know. Yeah, I know. You won't talk about it. No, that isn't it. I can't at the present time. Oh, that sounds rather suspicious. Well, I've certainly come to one conclusion. Kit hasn't gone out, w out west for a vacation. You seem to figure that I have some kind of, of deal on, Mr. Calvert. Now, you've talked to Kit. I know I've talked to her. And I got no place. She's hiding something, too. But it's very likely because her pride won't permit her to tell me. Well, I have my pride, too. And I'm certainly not going to give Wakefield a chance to talk. Bill, what's Kit's address? I can't give it to you. What do you mean? If Kit wants you to know where she's staying, she'll let you know. Mr. Calvert, you're imagining a lot of things. All Kit wants is to be let alone for a while. To get away and Oh, be... she doesn't want me to know where she's staying, eh? Maybe it's because she isn't where she's supposed to be. Oh, that's ridiculous. Is it? Suppose she isn't in California after all. And where would she be? In Reno, for instance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can assure you she's not. All right. Then suppose you give the lie to the talk that's going around town by getting Kit back here. And by not seeing Peggy Douglas anymore. I think this meddling of yours has gone far enough. I don't owe you any... any explanations, Mr. Calvert. As for getting Kit back here, that's out of the question at the moment. Believe me, you've got the wrong slant on everything. Have I? Yes. Now, you'll just have to accept the fact that Kit's gone to California for her own reasons because she wants to. But we both thought it was a good idea. Yeah. I guess I have to accept that explanation for the time being. It seems quite an important issue that kids stay out west. It's really necessary? It is. It means a lot to you? It means a lot to Kit and me. All right. I'll accept that for the time being. And if that's true, then stay away from that little Douglas girl, Bill. Mr. Calvert, I've told you and I don't... I've told you. As a matter of fact, I'm warning you. Warning me? Exactly. Either you keep your nose clean and behave yourself, or else I'll see to it that Kit comes back here and quick. And I know just how to do it. Whether through intuition or by pure accident, Ben Calvert has hit upon the one thing that leaves Bill Meade with no alternative. For Kit's sake, he has to do anything to prevent her father from forcing her to return home. If only you could tell your father-in-law the truth, Bill. If you could tell him that Kit has gone out west to have a child. With Ben Calvert's feeling for public opinion, his knowledge of the expected baby's heredity, he wouldn't be so eager to have his daughter in Wakefield. 
But you promised Kit you wouldn't tell anyone, didn't you, Bill? The future depends on Kit's being able to stay in California. So it looks as if Sergeant Bill Meade will have to forego his innocent meetings with Peggy Douglas. And how will she be able to understand that? <laughs> 